There you are. You're late. The show starts in 30 minutes. Seriously? Where have you been? You better not have some lame excuse for this. It doesn't matter if you think you don't need to be here, you idiot. We do in order to get you ready. You should really consider yourself lucky you don't need to have your hair done or have a ton of makeup caked on you or anything. Or you'd have really screwed everything over. Whatever. Get in costume while I let the director and makeup ladies know you're here finally. But I'm just a stagehand. That's not my job. Ugh. Fine, I guess I can make it work. Well, look who's showing up at a decent time now. Thanks to you, all the makeup people have stepped out, and now I'm being asked to help get you ready. As if I don't already have enough on my plate to do with the mics and the lighting and the other behind-the-scenes crap. Ugh, just sit down in the chair so I can do this. Hmm. Thankfully, you don't need much done for your role. Bronzer and eyeliner to help fight off the stage lights, sure, but otherwise your face is already quite presentable. Uh, no, stupid, I didn't mean that way. Don't get so full of yourself. I'm just saying that it's going to be easy to work with. But it's not easy if you're going to keep saying dumb stuff and get me all flustered and shaky. You know that I don't normally do this, right? I could very easily slip up and then have to start you all over and we don't have time for that. So, stay quiet or something. Okay, good. Now sit still so I can fix up your hair. I'll start with that and then figure out the rest as I go. Hmm. Let's see. I'm not the most familiar with hair and makeup, but we're not doing anything too crazy. So I can do just enough to make it work. <laughs> Don't thank me. If I could afford to leave you hanging so you could embarrass yourself, I totally would. But, believe it or not, even if this isn't a priority for you, it's kind of important for the rest of us here. Theater is kind of my thing, so as if I'm going to let something like this ruin it for me. Hmm. You're going to need a bit of product to help keep your hair in place. Hold on. Oh, yeah, I love acting stuff. I'm with the Drama Studies Club, the Theater Performance Society, and I used to be with the improv group before my schedule didn't allow it. <sighs> well, I auditioned, but they needed someone to work the lights backstage. They offered to pay for the position, and it's never bad having spending money, so of course I took it. Although, to be honest, um, mm. I mean, I know how to do all this stuff, but I far prefer the actual acting. I'm not bitter about it, but it would be nice to be able to say I acted in a play for the university. The only monetary scholarships I got were for acting, or thanks to having done extracurricular activities while maintaining good grades. Like I said, this is kind of my thing. I don't know. Doing it for work would be super different to doing it for the fun of it. Things start to get muddled once money gets involved, you know? I mean, it would be nice to be paid for passion, but accounting is more reliable in terms of job prospects. <laughs> you really thought I was just some mindless theater drone? I do have a life and personality outside of this dummy. Too many people look at student archetypes like jocks, nerds, and us theater kids and think we only have as much depth and dimension as Pac-Man. What did I say about- <clears throat> You're throwing me off, idiot. So don't call me cute like that. I don't hate you. I'm just a little uptight about everything. I mean, pre-show jitters are one thing, but I am kinda out of my element. Yeah, but this is the worst time for a pressure test. Plus, I'm not getting any support from anyone else here. And I especially don't like having my workload increased over something that's not my fault. I don't have high expectations for people. I just have high hopes. Hmm. Okay, and... Oh, thank God. 20 minutes to spare. 
Okay, time to do your face. Now, bronzer. You'll really, really have to hold still for this because I don't want to make your face look too dark now. Yes, we do have to put this on you. I have to do this so that in the stage lights, you'll have a natural complexion and won't look like you're trapped in a UFO abductor beam. I said hold still. <laughs> it wasn't even that funny. Oh, please. If you wanted really funny, you know how the lead Miranda is always running her mouth about how professional she is and whatever? Well, after an hour of getting her ready, about 30 minutes before you showed up, she stepped outside for a sig, in costume, in full makeup and hair, and it was raining. Mm-hmm. She comes back inside, hair, 80s glam rock levels of frizziness, and then turns to look at me and almost right on cue, all of her makeup just starts running. The director comes over, and she is pissed. Like, literally red. It was like watching Bob the Tomato yell at the matchmaker from Mulan in a perm. I run to go deal with some lighting stuff, and I just burst out laughing. And the sound check guy is looking at me like I'm crazy, but I just, oh my god, it was great. Oh yeah, she had to have, like, three people fixing her up to undo everything within, like, 20 minutes. And also to keep her costume from getting wrecked from all of the running mascara. And the whole time she was sulking about getting yelled at because, like, no one told me not to. And it's like, <laughs> god, it was just the most satisfying case of Just Deserts. No, it's actually deserts, not desserts. I heard about it and then I had to look it up. I was shocked too when I found out. Well, bronzer and eyeliner is done. Hair is good. Um, time to get you hooked up. This way. Now, with this mic on you, don't go talking backstage. And especially don't go to the washroom either. Assume it's always on because it's both hilarious and mortifying when it actually is. Hmm? What's up? Oh, yeah, it's whatever. We got you done and I still have time to get to where I'm needed. So I guess consider yourself lucky or else I'd really be holding it against you. <laughs> Make it up to me? Make it up to me by actually showing up on time for the next two shows. I really don't want to have to have this happen again, so unless you're late for a legitimate reason, be here 90 minutes early. Hmm. Alright, bet. Let's talk about meeting up when we actually have some time to chat. Once this is all over, there will be a huge chunk of my schedule freed up, so... Oh, um, I just mean like I'll have more time on my hands in general is all. I don't imagine we'll hang out more than the once because like, I mean, as much as I appreciate this, we're like different people with our own lives and stuff, but whatever. I need to clip this mic pack to your pants. Now, this is on. You should be good to talk until the show actually starts but still don't say anything you would care about having broadcast to others. If you need to step out for an emergency, I'll take it off, but make sure you get back on time. Actually, with your track record, uh, just wait for intermission. Well, if it kills you, we can't go out this weekend, so better not die. <laughs> now go see the director to see if you need anything else, and then get to your place. Things are happening soonish, so I need to get in position, so I need to hurry off. Yeah, yeah, break a leg. And if you do anything stupid again, I'll break both of them for you. I'll forgive you when you actually show up to our date on time this weekend. Later. Wait, did I say date? Oh, crap. <laughs>